As Derek Jeter said, there may be people who have more talent than you, but there's no excuse for anyone to work harder than you do. It's not easy, but through practice and practice and practice, practice makes what? Absolutely not. Dismantle that belief system. Practice makes improvement. Fear is self-imposed, meaning it doesn't exist. You create it, you can destroy it too. It's an intangible. If you face your fears, guys, you will realize it's not that big. I want your dream to be so clear, so vivid, right? That when you wake up in the morning, all you got to do is step in your dream. If you're not where you are, if you're not where you want to be, if you don't have what you want, want to have, if you're not where you think you should be at this particular place, it has nothing to do with the system, but it has everything to do with the fact that you're not making the sacrifice. Everybody's got lions on their profiles. Everybody talks positive about themselves. Everybody talks like you're a beast. You dress like you're a beast. But then when it's time to do what bees do, you, you, you back up. You got to get up and make it happen. I can, I will, I must. Pick a new destination and start going that way. Now you can change one little degree at a time, or if you want to, you can revolutionize the whole thing. I want to encourage somebody out there who's thinking about quitting and giving up. You're thinking about quitting, you're thinking about giving up. You are folding, you are caving in. This is for you. You're in this storm and you're down on your knees and you're cold and you're weak and you feel like this is the end. Imagine, if you will, being on your deathbed and standing around your bed, the ghost of the dreams the ideas, the abilities, the talents given to you by life and that you, for whatever reason, you never went after that dream. You never acted on those ideas. You never used those talents. You never used those gifts. And there they are standing around your bed looking at you with large angry eyes saying, we came to you and only you could have given us life. And now, we must die with you forever. Don't give up. Don't give up. Stay in it. And as John Irving said, to do anything really well, you have to overextend yourself. And that's the key. If you want to put in an extraordinary performance, if you want to absolutely dazzle people, then you have to do something amazing. You got this. It's going to get hard sometimes. I'm telling you right now. It's not going to be easy, but it's worth it. And it's not going to happen as quickly as you want it to happen. It's your dream. If you want it to happen, get your butt up and make it happen. So if what inspires you is that somebody works hard, work hard. If what inspires you is that somebody gets up every time they fail, get up every time you fail. If what you like is that they are themselves with all their weird eccentricities and quirks, then be true to your eccentricities and quirks, but don't try to embody their eccentricities and quirks. That's the surest way to become the fish that thinks it's stupid because it's being judged by trying to climb a tree. If you want to have it, rise and grind. I dare you not to go back to sleep. I dare you to get up and I dare you to chase your gender. It's possible you can win. Maybe you're listening to me right now, you want to lose weight, or you, you try to pass the final exam, or maybe there's just this feat that seems as though it is impossible. Turn your pain into progress. Turn your pain into progress. I need you to be uncomfortable with average. I need you to be allergic to average. I need you to come to the end of yourself. Whatever comes to you, don't run from it. 
Don't try and suck it like most people do. Step toward it. You want to make the dream come true, you got to stay focused. Some people rather get even than get ahead. Stay focused on where you want to go. Where are you going with your life? Because then the lesson that I'm going to learn is going to apply. It's going to take me another step closer to actually being the person that I want to become, that I want to live with every day. But I can't be that if I don't understand who I want to be. Now let me give you the secret. Shelf said, here's the secret, Mr. Rohn. Learn to work harder on yourself than you do on your job. Once I got that, it turned my life around. Learn to work harder on yourself than you do on your job. He said, if you work hard on your job, you'll make a living. If you work hard on yourself, you can make a fortune. If you would have known me at age 25, you would have said, Jim Rohn's a hard worker. If you'd have known me, you'd have said that. I'm the guy, I don't mind coming a little bit early, staying a little bit late, I don't mind that. You'd have said, well, Jim Rohn's a hard worker. You'd say, well, how come he's got pennies in his pocket and nothing in the bank and behind on his promises? Well, I was a hard worker, but I was working hard on my job, not on my self. I'm telling you, if you'll learn that simple little principle and start the process today, latest tomorrow, I'll give you tonight to think it over. And start this whole process of personal development, work on yourself, make yourself more valuable to the marketplace. I'm telling you, you can so dynamically change your income and economics is the least of the values that you can start earning in terms of equity. If you'll start working harder on yourself than you do on your job. Work hard on yourself and develop the graces. All of the stuff necessary to become more valuable to the marketplace. I'm telling you, your whole life can explode into change. Promotions, no problem. Becoming more valuable to the company, I'm telling you, no problem. Money, no problem. Economics, no problem. Future, no problem. You just go to work on the right thing. Not get things out there to change. Don't try to change the seed. Don't change the soil. Don't change the sunshine. Don't change the rain. Don't change the mix of seasons. Let the miracle of everything that's available work for you and start working on the inside. Work on your philosophy, work on your attitude. Work on your personality, work on your language, work on the gift of communication, work on all of your abilities. And if you'll start making those personal changes, I'm telling you, everything will change for you.